New at six, it only comes once every four years. Today is February 29th, or Leap Day. And for some families in our area, it's extra special as they welcome new babies. But as Julia Fellow shows us, it's also created a big debate. The odds of being a leap year baby are just one in nearly 1,500, and a couple of new baby boys beat those odds today. Steele was born this morning to parents Savannah and Scott at Aurora's Women's Pavilion in West Dallas. We were actually joking uh, last week um, about him coming today, how, how uh, surprising that would be if he did come. Little JJ received a warm welcome from his parents Megan and Jared at St. Joseph's Hospital in Milwaukee. I kept telling people that I had a funny feeling the baby would come on leap day. I wasn't due until March 16th. Only about 200,000 people in the U.S. were born on leap day and just more than 4 million in the entire world. That's crazy, but that's my type of thing. I'm a stat guy. I love sports, so... And I'm blaming him because I might miss, miss the Bucks game tonight because of him. <laughs> but the big debate, when it's not leap year, do you celebrate their birthday on February 28th or March 1st? I'm always a pro advocate for March. My birthday's on March 2nd. You guys have to do what she says. She likes that March thing, so I guess probably March 1st. I think February 28th because then it's the same month, so then you have the same birthstone and everything. The 29th. We're only half of every four years. Cheap birthdays. Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Dead. Well, we are happy to report that everyone, babies and mommies, are all doing great. As of this afternoon, there had been 10 Leap Day babies born at St. Joseph Hospital and Aurora's Women Pavilion.